everybody and welcome back to another Code Dragon video. In today's video, we're gonna make a Whack-A-Mole app. I'm pretty sure you all know Whack-A-Mole, a famous carnival game. So I've seen that many people like it, so I thought why don't we make an app on it. So let's get started without any further delay. And just to tell you, the app is not that hard to make. So now I'm gonna remove the text and I'm going to set the background color to white. I'm going to set the border width to zero and I'm going to get an image. So I don't have any assets over here so I'm going to upload a file which I've already uploaded. So I got this skull because I thought it's going to be a little hard to get a mole on Google. So now I'm just going to rename this project to whack a skull instead of whack a mole. gonna start with the score and I'm gonna get this label I'm gonna remove the text and I'm gonna write 100 over here or 200 anything and I'm gonna increase its font size yeah that's good I'm gonna remove that so now I'm gonna go to code and I'm going to get a variable x equals variable x equals 0 and set this number in label 1 x so now every time we click on the button we should get uh, some points right so on a web bottom one clicked x equals x plus 1 so now let me click on run and when I click on this I'm clicking on it but my score is not increasing because I have not put the set number Gonna set number and label one x. I'm gonna click on run. So my score is increasing by one, but that's a little less, so I'm gonna make it 100. Now, when I click on run, yeah, now I think that's good. But the skull needs to keep moving, right? So I'm gonna go to controls and get a time loop. So every one second, I'm going to set the position. To a different place that position of the uh, bottom one but I'm going to get a random number so there's no pattern and I'm going to put 0 to 255 and get another random number over here 0 to 255 so now let me click on run the game doesn't look really hard yet so I'm going to get another time loop and every five seconds I'm gonna go to variables and get x equals x minus hundred. Yeah. And I have to set this number too. And first let me save my projects in M. I don't know why I didn't do that. So set number in label one x. And we need the game to end at some point too. That's why I'm going to get a set timeout 30,000 milliseconds. Okay. And we have to set screen to a different screen so that they can't play the game anymore. And I'm going to get a screen too. So set screen to screen two. And in screen two, I'm going to get a couple of labels. One label over here. Do that put that right there and I'm gonna write congratulations over here and that and I'm going to increase the size yeah so congratulations then I'm gonna get another label over here then I'm going to write your score is and I'm going to increase its font size too and I'm going to get another label this label is going to be blank because this is where we are going to write their score so I'm going to go to code and I'm going to go and get a set text block so set text in let me check which label that is label 4 set text in label 4 
and we cannot say get text from variable x so if we remember in screen one i have uh, i have a label over here where i've written the score so i can do that too so i'm going to get a get text from label one yeah so now let me click on run and we just have to wait for 30 seconds for the next page to come and till then we can enjoy my game Actually, I'll get back to you guys when the next screen has come. Yep, the next screen has come. It says, congratulations, your score is 500. It's a little small, so that's why I'm going to just go to design. Go to screen 2. And over here, I'm going to make 500. And I'm just going to increase its font size so I know how it's going to look. So now, just for testing, I'm going to make this set timeout to... 10 seconds so it doesn't take us such a long time to wait for it and I'm going to click on run and I'm just going to play my game for 10 seconds yeah congratulations your score is 400 yeah so my game is working and I think you guys have learned some things too so I really like you guys to try this at home and thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the like, uh, like button down below for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.